YouTube was good with y'all, man. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm saying uh, today I'm gonna be showing y'all how Section 8 makes crazy beats for Real Boston Richie. Uh, yeah, Real Boston Richie dropped this tape last night. I listened to it and I really with the album. I'm not sure when this video is gonna be up. So by the time I'm recording this, the tape dropped last night. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it, man. Let's go straight to it. To be honest, I didn't really plan a video like this, but uh, I made this sample like 10 minutes ago and I figured it sounded like the album that dropped last night. So I was like, why not turn it into a video, man? Like, come on, bro. So yeah, I already laid down the sample. Uh, I didn't do drums on the sample yet. So I'm gonna start by deconstructing the sample. Um, I made it from scratch. Uh, yeah, this is what it sounds like. Bro, that's gotta be like top five samples I've ever made, bro. Yeah, since I made this melody like 10 minutes ago, I know every single thought that went through my head when I was laying down this melody. Uh, So for the main melody, this melody right here. I'm gonna start by deconstructing that. All right, so the preset I used for the main melody is the Furious Bell Pad from Nexus. Uh, I laid the original sample down in D sharp minor, and this is what I laid down. Just some very basic chords, no rocket science. Start out on the root note, D sharp. Now I build a triad, so D sharp, F sharp right here, and then A sharp. Took the middle note out, and I pitched this up an octave. That's the first chord right here. And then by using uh, Alt S or Option S, the strumizer, I kind of strummed the chords a little bit, like that. Next thing I did is I copied this uh, root note, copied it down an octave to add some low into the melody. And next I also copied this A sharp, the middle note, copied that down an octave, and I kind of delayed it a little bit to uh, kind of create a rhythm. So only really use like two notes for this, the D sharp and the A sharp, uh, just in different positions. After that, I added the F uh, on top of this chord right here, once again, to create some rhythm, piss it down an octave, and I uh, cut this note in half, I piss it up half a note, and the half notes in the scale, you already know, man, create a lot of tension. Uh, so yeah, I uh, laid these notes down right here. After that, what I did is I copied it straight over, and I took this bottom note out, and what I did with this F right here is I piss it up half a note, just to kind of make it unique, like sound unique from uh, this part right here. And yeah, after that, I just copied that straight over uh, and randomized the velocities a little bit. As you can see right here at the bottom. So after that, I rendered it out into an audio clip uh, just to make it easier and to kind of sample myself. Uh, I sent it to a mixer track right here and I put halftime on it with these sentences right here. So now it sounds like this. I believe I also pitched it up uh, 600 cents. Uh, so this is what we got right now. And that sounds a lot better to what we started out with. I decided to render it out again and kind of fade this uh, beginning part, kind of fade it in a little bit. And for some reason, when I rendered it out again, I decided to pitch it up 300 cents. No idea what kind of scale we're working in now, but uh, I pitched it up 300. And of course I decided to put some effects on it. So without effects, it sounded like this. With effects. Sounds a lot better. first effect I put on it is a basic EQ just to kind of clean it up before I put other effects on it. I cut some of the lows out using this uh, shelf right here and also lowered some of the highs right here. Next I opened this tape mellify plugin. It's from Arturia. Uh, I got the lo-fi high pass preset and I kind of messed around with these knobs a little bit. Played around with this uh, filter knob right here. After that to add some room to it or uh, add some ambience to it. Opened up this Valhalla Vintage Verb. Put the decay to three seconds. Uh, turned the mix up to like 22%. And then lastly, to kind of lower some of the harsh frequencies, open up another EQ and I lower some of the mids right here. So next I figured uh, some sort of piano would sound good on top of this melody. Uh, so this is the melody I ended up with. I'm gonna deconstruct it after. This is what it sounds like with the main melody. Uh, how I laid that melody down is I went to Arcade. Um, I was just browsing through banks, but I don't even know where I was, what I was looking for. But I ended up in this Chop Bank. I used the Hope Street preset. And it sounds goofy at first. 
But like I seen the potential, right? Like that's what's most important. So I found this one chop right here. And I just uh, decided to loop that. So what I did is I rendered it out and sent it to a mixer track right here. Opened up Effectrix and I'll uh, put this reverse effect on it. And it just loops over and over again. So I just copied it over like four times, then uh, rendered it out again. This is a uh, melody right here. Of course, I sent that to a mixer track as well. And I, um, yeah, I put a lot of effects on that. I don't even know why. But I started out with this uh, shelf right here, this EQ to uh, cut all the lows out since I uh, wanted it to kind of fill up the high end a little bit. Next, I added uh, two compressors for some reason because there was a lot of clicking going on and I just wanted to get rid of that. So I got uh, two compressors, just kind of even it out a little bit. Next, open up another EQ. Got some of the highest frequencies out and boosted some of the highs right here. Next, I pan it out and to add some room to it. Got this uh, shaper box preset. Just pan it out from left to right. Added this same for hollow finish for a preset. Uh, and I uh, put the mix to 24.8. Right, so lastly, I put this E... I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> the fuck? I put this EQ on it uh, just to kind of even it out and boost some of the... Bring some of the mids and some of the highs out. So after that, I like the way how the piano sounded on top of this melody. So I was still missing some low end in the melody. So I uh, went into Keyscape, got the cinematic preset, and I just laid some root notes down to fill up the low end. Add some character to the sample, like I said, in uh, in two octaves. That's what it sounds like. And it's not complicated at all. It's just two root notes to uh, kind of add some body to the sample. Uh, so yeah, just laid one note down copied it over an octave and uh, lowered this velocity a little bit. Only put three effects on that piano. Started out with the EQ, boosted some of the highs and took some of the sub lows out. Next, I added the same CLA uh, 3A compressor to it. These settings right here, just to kind of make it sound more compressed, if that makes sense. And lastly, to add some room to it, I uh, got the same for Hall of Industry preset, decay to three seconds and it mix to uh, to 9%, so very subtle. Uh, so boom, after that, y'all see this little gap right here. Like I had to add something in between that. So I opened up SRX strings and I got this file in Set one preset, uh, turned off the chorus and the reverb. Yeah, like I said, just filled in this gap right here. So only two notes right here and right here. This is what it sounds like. And it's very subtle. It's just tucked in the back a little bit. I uh, let down this G and this F. Uh, just following the C minor scale. Next, I switch it up. I wanted to keep this G right here, so I delayed it to the the second position right here but i put the first note to c uh, just to make it sound unique from this part kind of switch it up a little bit put effects on that just a basic eq and some reverb cut the sub lows out lower some of the of the highs uh, of all of vintage verb mixed to 30 percent. so that's pretty much it so then i added this to it i don't even know if you can call this a melody but the vst used for that is opened up nexus i uh, got the blown preset it's some sort of siren i don't even know like like i said i don't even know if it's a melody but yeah, that's what it sounds like I guess more of an accent than a melody. But anyways, the effects I put on that is a basic EQ. Oh, I got this shelf right here. Next, I had a ping pong delay to it. It's kind of panned out from left to right. Put this pan knob to the right. Put this delay model to uh, ping pong. These centers right here. And lastly, of course, put a reverb on it with these centers right here. And then the last thing I added to the sample was this tubula bell from my Rook Season drum kit right here. Just put it on the root note on C. I believe I put a delay on it. Yeah, put a delay on it uh, with the ping pong preset as well and a vintage verb just a, a subtle accent is what it sounds like i like adding like tubular bells to my samples but of course like y'all heard in the intro the melody we ended up with sounds uh different compared to what we have right now so what i did is i um selected all of these mixer tracks from all the melodies we had and i sent it to one bus and for the people that don't know what the purpose of a bus is let's say i put a reverb on this bus or an eq that means that that EQ or that reverb uh, gets sent to all these mixer tracks. So instead of adding one effect to every single individual mixer track, I could just add one effect to the bus and it uh, gets sent to all these mixer tracks. As you can see, I put five effects on that bus. So without the effects, it sounded like this. With effects. It sounds way better. So of course I heard the pitch shift. I pitched it down five semitones. After that, I added a compressor to it to kind of even out the signal a little bit. After the compressor, added this uh, J37 to it to uh, add some saturation. It's had like this tape effect to it. Next, I added this S1 imager from Waves. 
Oh, and this kind of widens the sound a little bit. And lastly, got this Sheps uh, 73. It's an EQ. And I kind of messed around with the, the highs, mids, and the lows uh, to kind of make it sound a bit better. So yeah, what I'm going to do next is mute all of these tracks and lock them since we don't need those anymore. Got all the melodies right here. So I'm going to copy this over a bunch of times and arrange it real quick. All right, so I arranged it. Uh, so I'm going to deconstruct it really quick. So for the intro, I got the main melody, the little like siren uh, accent I added to it with the piano uh, and the tuba label. Next, we got a 16 bar hook right here with the main melody playing throughout the whole hook. I added the siren and the piano. Top melody, added that in the second eight bars of the hook. But I got the root notes of the piano and the tuba label playing throughout the whole hook. After the hook, got a 16 bar verse right here. I took the main melody out the first eight bars of the verse but i brought it back in at the second eight bars of the verse the first eight bars got the top melody of the piano with the root notes playing as well as the little uh, strings i added to it then the second part of the verse brought the main melody back in with the root notes of the piano so a lot of space for the artist uh, as well as the tubular bell of course and next we got an eight bar bridge right here it's exactly the same as the intro so next what i'm gonna do is make a new pattern Copied over like five times, loop this, and uh, yeah, let's put some drums under it. And for the people that be watching my channel, bro, you already know what I'm going to say, bro. Every drum sound I'm going to be using in this beat came from my Rook Season drum kit and my uh, upcoming Heaven Sent drum kit. And I see y'all comments say y'all IGDMs asking about the kit. Oh, I'm going to be dropping it real soon. I hope this month I'm just waiting on the cover art to be done. So as soon as I get the cover art, I'm dropping the kit, man. See, so yeah, I got 808s, bonus loops. Got hella bonus loops. Like, it's a loop kit inside of a drum kit, bro. Like, Come on, bro. Got claps, some effects, uh, open hats, snares, and also included 10 uh, FL Studio themes. So yeah, let's uh, lay some drums out. pretty much it man that's how section 8 makes crazy beats for robots and richie's new album so yeah like always want to thank y'all for watching the video all the way to the end and i uh, hope y'all learned something from the video hope y'all enjoyed the video shit like that yeah my have a set drum kit dropping real soon i'm just waiting for the cover art uh, as soon as i get the cover art i'm dropping the kit man y'all see me use the sounds kit's crazy so make sure to subscribe to the channel shit like that stay notified when i drop the kit and also don't forget to follow me on instagram and join my discord all that shit oh uh, y'all know what to do man so catch y'all on the next video man y'all stay safe